Hello everyone, it's Miss Amanda from the Middleborough Public Library. And I have a very special guest here to help us celebrate our Bugs Week. It's Sarah Gurton, also known as the Monarch Mama. Hi, Sarah. Hi, hi, Miss Amanda. It's great to see you. It's great to see you too. So this week we are celebrating bugs and all things butterfly related. And I know you have some information to share with families about how we could attract these wonderful creatures to our neighborhoods and what's going on with them right now because I think they're traveling, right? Yes, so the monarch butterflies migrate each year. They travel about 3,000 miles. Um, they are coming up from Mexico to New England and to Canada. Wonderful, and do you have a little presentation that you are gonna share with us about the life cycle of the monarch? I do, so let me pull that up and we can learn more about the wonderful monarch butterflies. Yay! I know we had so much fun raising them at the library a couple years ago. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful thing to do. It's so fun. Welcome to the wonderful world of monarch butterflies. Let's come discover the amazing world of the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies migrate each fall, traveling from the northeastern United States and sometimes as far as Canada to their winter habitat in Mexico and California, sometimes flying as much as 3,000 miles to find safe, overwintering grounds. These are images of common milkweed that grow in our region. Milkweed can grow in many different places and is easy to grow, but the milkweed plant is also in danger of being cut down as people build roads, houses, and farms. You can help. If you spot milkweed, take a look under the leaves. Look for any monarch eggs or caterpillars. You can also help by planting milkweed and other flowers that attract butterflies in your yard. The female monarch butterfly usually lays an egg on the bottom of a milkweed leaf. She can lay between 300 to 500 eggs in a two to five week period. If you can identify what milkweed looks like, you will be able to check for eggs to save. Monarch caterpillars pop out of their egg and start eating right away, just like our friend, the very hungry caterpillar. They eat as much milkweed as they can for two weeks. The monarch caterpillar eats the milkweed because it gives them a special adaptation. It makes them poisonous to predators, but the little caterpillar still needs our help to survive. Less than 10% will survive in the wild. After two weeks of non-stop eating, the caterpillar hangs upside down, forming a J, and begins to molt into a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar begins its transformation, and in 9 to 14 days will emerge as a butterfly. This is a video of one of our butterflies emerging from its chrysalis. Its wings are small at first, but the butterfly pumps its blood from its body into its wings, expanding them.
butterflies emerged, we have a fun butterfly release party for our monarch friends. If the weather and conditions are right, we release our monarch butterflies after they've dried their wings and are ready to fly. Success. Me and my family released over 30 monarch butterflies last year. With a declining monarch butterfly population, it really is a big help. We can all do our part to help monarch butterfly population make a comeback. Good, Good luck, little butterflies! What can you do? You can plant a monarch garden, plant milkweed and native flowering plants in your yard. Don't use harmful pesticides such as Roundup. If you see milkweed, don't cut it down. Visit my Facebook page to learn more at Monarch Mama of Middleborough. Well, there you have it. Now let's see if I can get back to you, Miss Amanda. I think if you just do the stop share, we should pop back. There we go. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was fabulous. 300 to 500 eggs. Yes. Wow. But they lay so many, but hardly any of them make it in the wild. Yeah, that is so neat. So are you already looking? Have you seen anything in your area yet? I've been watching the migration map. There's a link to it at the end. Um, and my neighbor saw one, so I got really excited. My neighbor saw one yesterday. That is so exciting. I think we should all go out and, and keep our eyes peeled and look for those butterflies coming back and watch for those eggs. And maybe we could plant some of those flowers you suggested. Yes, that's a great way to help. Once you know what milkweed looks like, you'll see it all over the place. It's on the sides of the road. It can grow anywhere. Um, so just look under the leaves. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Monarch Mama. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Amanda. I'm so happy to share all this information with you guys. It's so fun. And maybe we can check in with you later this month and see if you've got some eggs and some uh, chrysalis forming. That would be great to see. Yes, it's great to watch the whole process. It's a fun cycle. Great. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.